Hey there, YouTube friends. Steve here. I just got done painting and installing that chair rail that you see right there. And I figure while I'm on this home improvement kick, I'm just going to change this entryway light that you see up there. Kind of dated looking and I think I could do better. So we're going to get to it right now. Okay, so I just got back from Lowe's. I picked up a portfolio mini pendant fitter right here. That was about 14 bucks and this blue glass shade which was about 12 bucks so with tax it came out to about 28 dollars and change and we get a nice new entryway light um, they have a lot of different colors if you're interested red blue yellow multicolors good stuff check it out we're going to get to the install right now all right now i'm going to unbox the portfolio mini pendant fitter this is a black matte finish Item number 0394795. Again, I got it at Lowe's. Let's unbox it. Oh, and by the way, you can adjust the cord up to 63 inches. So let's unbox it and see what we got inside. All right, here are the instructions. And here is the fixture itself right there. Pretty standard stuff, uh, black wire, white, and a ground. And you have your uh, screws and your wire nuts in there. Real simple, let's get to it. Okay, first thing we're going to do is turn the light on. I'm going to go to the circuit breaker, throw the breaker, shut the light off, make sure the electric is off. We'll pull this one down and get the new one up. It'll be real quick. Okay, so the power is off. We're good to take this down. Just two little uh, screws up here hold this plate in. I'll unscrew them and we'll bring it right down. Alright, so I unscrewed the plate. Here are your three wires. We have a ground, we have a white, and we have a red. In this case, the red is going to be the hot. And I'm just going to unscrew these and we're going to drop it down. So now I'm pulling out the existing plate as well for the instructions of the new light fixture. All right, so now we're going to move the mounting strap, which is this, from the canopy, which is this, just by using a Phillips head screwdriver and taking these screws out. Okay, so now we've released the mounting strut. Okay, so we're up to step four over here. We're going to get back up on the ladder and we're going to put the mounting strap to the electrical box. And they give you a couple of screws right here to use. Alright, so we got these silver screws that go in the box here. And notice that these two, I'll call them mounting tabs, are face down. You want them face up, you want them face down. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to screw it in and make it flush with the ceiling. I'm not going to over tighten it, I'm just going to make it snug. Okay. 
All right, so obviously I need to shorten the length of this cord, and you do that by unscrewing this little cap right here, all the way like that, and then you could just push the wire through like that, and then when you get it to the length you want, just tighten it back up. All right, so obviously I don't want to put all of this into the electrical box, so I'm just going to cut it down. You get yourself a pair of wire cutters. Just cut it like that. All right, so now I'm going to remove this rubber insulation, just like that. I'm going to expose the two wires. Okay, so now I'm just going to strip the insulation off the wires. Just like that. And pull it off. And I'm just going to wind it up like that. And now we're ready to hang it up. Okay, so now I'm attaching the white to the white using the wire nuts. I got the copper done and I got the black done already. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these wires back in the box and uh, because I have one hand, I got to come back down the ladder first, and then uh, we'll attach the canopy to the uh, bracket just like that. Okay. All right. Before I put them back in the box, I just put a little electrical tape on each connection. This is a little tricky for me, being I'm at this angle on this ladder. But what you have to do is screw the screw into the mounting bracket. And there you have it. Now this cord looks a little curly Q, but over time it'll straighten out. Okay, now we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now to mount the shade, we're just gonna unscrew this little lug, I'll call it. It comes off just like that. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put the shade over the socket like that and then we're just going to go up and screw it. Now if you have a really big hand you might have a problem. I can just, just about get in there and then you just tighten it up until it's good and snug. got to do is just put a bulb in. Alright, now we just got to put a bulb in. I'm using a clear bulb. Again, a little tricky getting your hand in there. Okay, I just put the breaker back on. Let's see what it looks like. Flick of the switch. There it is. Pretty cool. I like it. Uh, quick home improvement, relatively cheap. Um, cool thing about this is if you don't like the shade after it's up, you can pull the shade down, take it back to Lowe's, and exchange it for another color of your preference. But I enjoyed myself. I enjoyed the result. I hope you enjoyed it too. We'll see you next time.